very, very important. Uh, we recommend those. Then we can solve any, any differential equation. Very powerful, the almighty method. And that has very uh, important but simple principle. Okay? And you will want to calculate the new value. But to calculate new value, you need information. So you will use your existing information to calculate the new value. Okay? So everything in here is known. And everything here is known. To calculate unknown, you have to use known values. Okay? If you have unknown value in here, if you have just one unknown value in here, there's no way for you to uh, calculate the new value. Okay? You have to put, move every uh, new value to the left hand side and you have to use every information that you have. Okay? So, what do we have? We have, uh, let's say, uh, in here, I have C and T, and then, let's say, I have uh, CT, and I want to calculate CT plus delta T, which is right here, T, T plus delta T. So I know my delta T, right? I know my DC, DT. I know my CT, and I don't know this, okay? So to calculate this, what do I use? My previous value, and slope, and interval, okay? If we, you, that, that's just only one method, and that can uh, give you uh, answers and many of these. Okay, and if you have systems of differential equations, you have C1 is your variable, and C2 is your variable. Let's say this one is uh, phosphorus. This one is chlorophyll A. And you want to calculate algal blue. And, and let's say you know their functions or equations. And what do we need to do? We want to calculate C1 nu, which is the next step phosphorus value. We want to calculate C2 nu, which is the next step chlorophyll A value. But if you know previous value of phosphorus, previous value of chlorophyll A, and if you know TCDT for this, if you know TCDT for this, and, it, and this delta T is the value that you just provide, okay? Can be one hour, 10 seconds, whatever, okay? So, it's better of just a multiplication. If you have C1 through Cn, if you have, let's say you have a whole bunch of 20 or 30 variables, to be able to solve that equations, you just have to repeat 20 times. And then calculate and move to the next step. It's that much easier. Okay? And <clears throat> And I um, wrote you the Taylor series <coughs> to show you why this was possible. Okay, and to calculate this one and And this was is our first method. But according to Taylor method, Taylor series, let me just uh, delete uh, the, the, this thing. So I think it takes some time.
and actually full uh, Taylor series uh, for this one is like this. But in this case, in this case, we cut or truncated, truncated or ignored the rest of the stuff. Okay, and why this is possible? I told you if delta t is very much small. Let's say this one is 0.0001. Okay, if you square it, if you multiply this twice, three times, or n times, and this is going to be very very small. And even you will divide that by some number. So this one can be very small. But if this is big, I'll be in trouble. But uh, if this is small enough, maybe maybe I can. Ignore. <clears throat> so if we do this, we just have to have some error because because we ignore this part. So these are error. Can be big sometimes, but we hope that it should be small enough so that you can neglect. But can be sometimes trouble. If you have, let's see, something like this. If you have a dam discharge in the very flow scene, and that flow rate can fluctuate very rapidly. In this case, my DCDT is crazy. Okay, so in this case, you may have to have really small delta T, or it's not possible to use this number. Okay. So this is possible, and but but in the case like smooth curve like this, it's okay. It's okay. Right? And this other method, this is everything. So if you understood what I want, what I have been talking about, then you're done. But as I said. This simple method may be, may not be enough because it always have to have error because we ignore this, this part. Okay, so this choose method is something they can complement or they can uh, minimize uh, that kind of error issue. What it can do and. Given if we have same delta t, we will just uh, uh, kind of expect we will calculate this one based on previous information. Okay, it, it, it is too small for you. Let's say you have a same delta t. Euler. You have this, this, and this, and this, and then you can have, okay, this is what I want. Okay, this is what I want. And, but, is this, is this accurate enough? We don't know. We don't know. Because we just made a delta small. But how small is small enough? We don't know. In this case, we will just calculate uh, the method. The same, we will use the same method, and then we will calculate the C T plus delta T. I mean, we don't know. And then we will just come back to here, and then we will calculate again, 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 again. And then let's say this is first one, and we have second one because we are going to. Um, and in the previous case, we just have DCDT. Now we know C plus delta T plus delta T. Okay? Then we can uh, average those two values and calculate the slope again. And if you have the right answer, then your CN and CN plus 1 should be almost the same. 
if you hit the right time, right uh, value, then no matter how many times you repeat, you will have the same C value. Okay? So in this case, even though I have to repeat many times maybe, and for the given delta T, I will be able to you know, obtain or get uh, more accurate next type value. And I have RK method. RK is, well, there is a always issue about how to pronunciate this one. Churchin, can you read this for me? Oh, very good. It's very uh, American-like pronunciation. And uh, well, American people, people in the US, they say, Runji cutter. But this is the name of the people. Maybe Runge Kuta. I don't know. Because if this is a German, then we have to have. It's not Runge. <coughs> Runge. <laughs> but I think they are European. And Kuta may be. They may be he may be Indian. <laughs> so, can be Kuta? Kuta? And. For example, my name, people in the US, they call me Seo. Seo. Who cares, huh? But I care. My name is Seo. And so, it's okay. So, to avoid that kind of issue, we just will call that as RK method. That will solve everything. Okay, terraces, I talked about it, very much important, okay, error, right, A in here is delta T or delta X, whatever, okay, so earlier method, we use <coughs> this much part, and we want, and we know our our old method is not perfect, but by looking at error, we can say, okay, if I have small enough delta t or delta x, whatever, the, the, the interval value, then I can probably or hopefully ignore that part. Okay? That's all there. Hughes method, oh okay, I just have to have I have to use delta t. This delta t is the smallest number that I can go, and but I want to have better solution. Better be accurate. Then I have to repeat and see if I can hit the same value. And then if I have the same value again and again and again, and I say, okay, this is the solution, then I can move on to the next step. Okay, Euler method. I have here Ti, Ci. I want to calculate the next value right here. And what I use, I was just delta P, DCDT, Ci, and for the next value. And unfortunately, this because this one is a linear line, this one cannot follow curvature of this curve. Okay? So this is true solution and this is productive and you calculate it. And we will say this much is error. Okay? And if you reduce your delta t you may have less error. Okay? If you move along, just like a small, little by little, then you may be able to reach here, but you have to go through many different steps to come to this place. So it requires a lot of a lot more time. So that's the one one way, way that you can uh, minimize the error. But Hughes method, in here, we'll, at, in the first step, we'll use the same method that you use for Euler. This is your prediction. This is your um, uh, true solution. We don't know this yet, but yeah. Okay? And then in here, okay, I have a ci plus 1. Then if I have function, then I can uh, 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 substitute those values to calculate new slope, right? Since 
in here you have everything you have a useful. And then I will take this and take that and mix it together and take average. Okay? Listen carefully, this is going to be your final exam as well. Okay? So you come back here. And then you will use the average slope and then shift for the next value. Try to predict the next one. And maybe this one can come down to here and your but still you have some difference between your uh, production and true solution. And still in here I don't know. I don't know. And the way that I can find if I had a, a, a true solution or not, you will compare this and that. Those are different. Okay? I said that's good to say, okay. I cannot really sure, be sure this one is my solution is or not. Then you will use this one and that one and then do it over again. Take the average and then shoot for this one, maybe. Compare this two. And you still are not satisfied. And then come back. And but eventually you may have you may be able to come back here and then if you uh, have the right solution then no matter how many times you repeat then you will hit the same value again 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 that's mathematics okay then if you compare those these two values and then if you think uh, that's within your error bound that you decided and then uh, this, that's your solution. Exactly the same method with Euler but only difference is we will repeat again and again and again. And but we will have, we will have same delta t here and there. Okay? Very easy. Very easy. Oh, before I go on RK let me just uh, do Good that. Very good. And go to your textbook. Um, can you bring my Look at chapter 7.
최근 보고 싶어야 돼. 두꺼운 형은 나는 나는 안 보고 싶어. 오케이. Okay. We have practical, character, and this huge method is also called as practical, correct method. If you go to mathematics department somehow and uh, have a chance to uh, uh, take the class for differential equation, and this may be something that you will have to anyway learn. Okay? <coughs> Predictor is this one, prediction. And then we will have correction, right? The predictor correction method. It's kind of a, a repeat, repetition method or iteration method. That is called a predictor correction. So, and then one seven point one five. You said they have percent error by comparing a previous value and the next value. And you will just uh, you have to. Say, oh, or 0.1% is okay, or 0.001 is okay, and but that is something that you have to decide. Okay, and whose method is uh, at concept example 7.2? Okay, and you will repeat. And in this case, I am not don't know. They have uh, how much percent is good, but. In this case, <clears throat> maybe in this case, uh, they don't have uh, any uh, error uh, bound. Um, I think they just did it one more time. Okay, let's compare uh, 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 values in uh, well, page 123. Try to compare um, at the T5. T5 here, and numerical page 128, and another page 120. And if you go to 126 page, 5 here, so this is 119.58, and another page 120. So, in this numerical value, by using this method, is a lot closer to the solution, right? You had a 128 before, now 119, which is a lot closer to 120, right? So, we can say, okay, this method is, has better accuracy. Not necessarily better, because it requires more time and effort for you. But anyway, their accuracy is better. And if we want better accuracy, then this is the method that we have to use. Okay, right? So I want you to, I want you to solve every example and then bring it to the class on next Wednesday. And this is the pilot. Okay. In here we have delta t. Very much more important than Euler engines because RK is one of the worldwide used methods to send your rocket to the moon or Mars, Jupiter, right? Very much important. And we have used world use delta T. The principle is the same. We'll, next value, previous value, we'll have slope and interval, okay? Interval is like this, okay? And this one is a little bit looking strange, but at this time, we'll, we'll just uh, uh, exercise how to calculate this. Anyway, but forget about this. This one is also something that we can uh, uh, use the same principle with the oil. In other words, we will calculate kind of average slope. Average slope from here. Wake up, wake up. Average slope. Okay? And then start.
start here and here. Done. Okay? And the problem is how we are going to calculate K1, K2, K3, K4. And what is K1? <coughs> Same slope for the, for the boiler. We'll go right here. We'll just go just halfway. Delta T divided by 2. Halfway. Okay? And then come here. And then we, as we used in Hunt's method, we can calculate the new slope. That's in 2. Okay? So we will use, bring this one, this red one, to here. And then try to press another. In Hunt's method, we did take the average in here. We just brought this one to here. Only K2. Right? And then we have another value right there. That's K3. And we'll bring this one to here. And then this time we'll just have a predict, we'll predict for the whole interval, which is delta T. And then we have a new value here. We can calculate the new slope. That's K4. K1, K2, K3, K4. So we have a slope here, there, and two slopes in the middle. And we will average. Okay. To take the average, we can maybe add 1, 2, 3, 4, divide by 4. That's the simplest one. But we want to put emphasis on two middle values. So we give the two credits to here, to here, and then since we have two, two, one, one, which is six in total, we'll divide by six. Why? We have to prove it. We can prove it. But in here, I'm not going to prove it, because this is not the mathematics class. By using this Taylor series, Taylor series, this can, it can be proved. Okay? So, in here, they try to uh, include uh, up to um, uh, third power and somehow mix it together and then they uh, come up with this kind of solution, which is very nice. Very nice. So, and the good point about this method is they use up to, um, uh, let's see, this point. But this is very cumbersome for you to use. So they converted somehow, cooked and change somehow this into this. So if you use this method, that automatically will reduce your error a lot. Right? Because it has the effect of including everything up to this part. So you, with the same delta t, you will have the accuracy up to here. Then the rest of the stuff will be your error. Do you get it? Delta T1 무식하게 줄여가지고 할수 있습니다. 근데 그건 한계가 있다. 그랬죠? 근데 이것을 아예 애초부터 여기까지 포함하면 같은 Delta T라 하더라도 엄청나게 많은 좋은 정확도 확보할 수가 있는 거죠. 그죠? 같은 Delta T. 그래서 이게 지금 나머지가 에러가 되는 거지만 이건 엄청난 그 차이가 있어요. 알케 메소드는 그랬었습니다. 그러나 이것이 결국은 두 개의 인터벌 사이에서 슬로프를 계산하는 거에 불과합니다. 라고 얘기했습니다. 그 슬로프는 여기서 이렇게 표현했는데 그 슬로프는 여기, 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 여기 네 개에서 계산하는 거를 평균할 겁니다. 오케이? 평균을 하는데 결과적으로 여기에 의해서 결과가 나왔지만 결과가 나왔지만 요두 개에다가 이 점을 주고 
여기 한개 일정을 주는 꼴이 됐습니다. 한 개, 두 개, 두 개, 한 개. 전체가 여섯 개가 됐죠? 나누기 여섯 개. 원래 평균값이 하려면 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 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 4로 나눠야 되겠죠. 오케이? 네, 그렇지만은, 여기서 여섯 개 나눔으로써, 여기 두 개에다가, 뭐, 더 비중을 줘서, 어, 했습니다. 그건 일부러 이렇게 한게 아니고요. 수학적으로, 그, 증명을 하다 보면, 저게 맞다라는 증명이 되어 있는 것인데, 내가 증명하지 않겠다, 이렇게 얘기했습니다. 우리 수학적으로 하겠습니다. 그래서, 이 알케베터드가, third order, First order. 그러니까 여기 뒤에 에러가 델타 t가 몇, 몇 승이냐에 따라서 그 third order, first order, sixth order 쭉 있습니다. 근데 여기서 우리가 first order 충분히 알케이 first order 맵. 그러니까 에러의 델타 t가 4승부터 시작하는 것이 first order. Very much important. Very much important. But the principle is the same. And one of the difference is how to calculate your average slope. That's it. Okay? So once you know how to calculate K1, K2, K3, K4, you're okay. And in here, as I said, if you have systems of difference equations, two unknowns, Y1 and Y2, and in this case, you can also use the same other method by repeating uh, twice. Okay. Y1 is previous and its slope and interval. Y2 the same. And if you have delta t 0.5 and Y1 previous to 4, Y2 previous value 6, and then your delta t 0.5 previous Y4, Y1, Y1, Y2, and how much was the Y1 at this time? Four, right? And then we're just <coughs> minus 0.5 times four. That is your slope. And we have to multiply this by 0.5, which is delta t. Then you will have the new value. Easy. For next y2 value, what was previous? Six. What was slope? This. Y2 was six, y1 four. Done. And your delta t, 0.5. That is your next step. Very easy. And then, this is very important as well. I always say that. Anyway, <coughs> this one is a difference equation, higher order. Higher order means you have two. So far we have just one, dc, dt, dy, dt. And uh, if you have a more complicated system like this, what you're going to do? But we will just uh, simplify this one by uh, let u equals dy, dx. And you, your du, dx can be defined as like this, okay? And then if we uh, put this one back to here, and this one becomes du, dx, right? So now we have du, dx, we can just move this one to here, and dy, dx, we already defined that as u. So now you have two unknowns, which is y and u, the system of the first equation. If you have three, three. Four, four. Five, five. What are you going to do? Do the same stuff twice, three times, four times, five times. So many times. Done. Very easy, right? Okay. And for the partial differential equation. Tx. We have one, more than one independent variable. This is a real situation. In real situation, everything moves with time and space. Right? And so far we have tried we have tried to ignore this 
part because I want simple uh, problems. But sometimes it, we cannot really avoid the this situation. But anyway, round C, round T, definition of that is like that. Round C, round X, definition of that thing is like that. Okay? And to calculate, let's say this I in here is space, and this uh, the, the shoulder number is the time. For time, T plus L plus 1 is previous value and something which is slope and delta T. Right? Well, those look a little bit straight looking. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, we'll just play with this equation and then somehow come up with this. In here, look at this. Now, we are in this just only equation. We are talking about time. Time is this. Unknown time is L plus 1. No one is L. L, 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 L. Everything in here is for previous time step. So you know the value. Okay? Just like uh, y1 is 6, y2 is 4, something like that. You, can, you just have to switch or substitute value in here. Then you will have value, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever. If you know this value, just, you can just calculate. Delta x, <coughs> you can define. Easy. So you can do that for time, you can do that for x and y and z. <coughs> Everything. Only thing you have to do is you just have to wait and then do kind of uh, weaving your um, fabric. <coughs> So, even though this looks very much difficult, this is, has the same old principle. New equals old plus slope times interval. That's it. Okay? But you have to practice those. Because those methods are very much confusing many times. <laughs> and if, you, if you don't uh, solve this with your hand, there's no way that, that can be that can become yours. Okay? So uh, I want you to solve every every example problem. Every example problem up to uh, 7.5. And uh, I forgot to uh, give you the example, but uh, and I want you to solve every odd number. 7.1, 7 7.3, 7.5, 7.7, 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. That's your own number. Okay. Every example and every odd number. One, three, five, seven. Solve them and give it to me by this one there. Every exercise. 